verse for today is in Proverbs 27, verse 21. The crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but man is tested by the praise he receives. There are ways by which gold and silver can be tested. Crucible is used to test silver and the furnace is used to test gold. But how about a man? How do you test a man? We are totally afraid that a man is tested by the praise he receives. When a man is praised, friends, and he becomes proud, you would know that the man, that man is prideful. Yes, someone could come to you, friends, and seem so humble up until you praise the man. And suddenly he will change course. Suddenly he becomes proud. Suddenly he will lift himself up. Friends, that man is full of pride. He is self-centered, self-seeking. He is selfish. So friends, is it that better for us that when we are tested by the praise we receive, that we humbly receive it and deflect the glory, give the glory to God? So when somebody praises you, give glory to God, friends. It is Him that had given you the power and the ability to do the work. So friends, why don't you give the glory to God rather than receiving it yourself as if it's you that had done everything. If you give glory to God, friends, the Lord will be blessed. And we are told that God will give grace to the humble, but He will resist the proud. So why be resisted by God when you can actually humble yourself and be blessed by the Lord. So friends today, if somebody praises you, give glory to God. Don't be prideful as if it was you that had done it. No, we owe it all to God. And that's how you protect yourself against pride, by giving glory to God. But if you receive it for yourself as if you, you had done it yourself, our friends, God will resist you. Yes, even at work, friends, if you are prideful at work, eventually you will find yourself in trouble. But if you are so humble doing the work at work, knowing that you are serving God rather than men, well, your, your boss, friends, will be so pleased with you that he will give you an increase or a promotion because you are not being resisted by your boss. But supposing you have done your job well and people have been coming to you and say, oh, you have done well and you receive it for yourself and then you become prideful. In the past, you were so submissive to your boss. Now you thought that you know better than your boss because you are now full of pride. Well, eventually, friends, it, is, it will be your boss that will push you down. He will push you down, friends. And eventually, you will find yourself out of that company. Why? Because of pride. And a lot of people, friends, miss the grace of God. They miss the blessing of God when they resisted God, when they live in pride. So, friends, remember, God gives grace to the humble, but He resists the proud. Now, how are you tested? You are tested by the praise that you receive. So, from today forward, friends, if somebody praise you, give glory to god amen don't receive it for yourself and be prideful about it may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may his face and upon you be gracious to you may he lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace shalom god bless see you next time bye